Hi guys, it's Safiria Lovery. I'm here to share some of my condensing, my stockpile tips with you all. Um, I'm going to show you how to consolidate and get rid of the packaging that you don't necessarily need. And here is just a way that I kind of um, do my washing powder discs. I really don't like to see this packaging um, and it's not really necessary. I would say about half of this container is filled with the pods, if not a third of the container. The rest of the container is just kind of dead space or air space. Plus, I can't exactly see how many pods I have in this particular package. Now, when you go and get like five to ten of these at a time or over time and you stock up on them, you can easily have five to ten of these taking up shelf space when you can just consolidate them into something that's very easy and manageable and something that you're going to be using quite often. This is a plastic box that I got from Amazon.com and you can see that it has a lid, a closable lid on there. And so I just keep that in my laundry room. Labeled it soap pods. Not really necessary because I can see straight inside the package. But nevertheless, labels are cool. So I just put one on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the package. And as I can see here, what I was saying earlier, that's just some air space in there that you don't necessarily need. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer these pods into a more usable container. let me tell you this particular packaging will not go to waste I'm just gonna pull off the label and then I'm gonna use this packaging to store my dishwasher tabs so as you can see all of the soap pods fit into the plastic container here and then you can see I have two empty boxes that I no longer need and so I'm going to repurpose them the label pulls right off so I'm just going to take these and use them for something else here's a shot of the soap pods in my laundry room on the shelf with easy access to the washing machine down below here's a look at the Perseal container all cleaned up with the stickers taken off and this is a reusable container now since I can now see uh, what's in there so I'm going to go ahead and clean this one up and repurpose it. So I have this really large, long container of dishwasher tabs, but I am getting low on those, so I no longer need um, a container this big. And also I have more items that I've purchased that I need to put on the shelves. And to make room, I'm going to go ahead and so consolidate this container down to some more manageable sizes. So since these dishwasher tabs are smaller than the Perseal pods, I'm going to be able to get more of them in the container versus the Perseal pods. Now, as you can see, I have placed all of the dishwasher tabs in this particular container. And if I need more room on the shelf now, I can turn these to the side and they're very slender. Now I can put things on this side of the shelf as well as this side of the shelf with the space that I have freed up. And you can see here how much wider this container is and how much space it takes up on the shelf versus consolidation with these two slender containers here and placing those on the shelf. The next thing I have to show you is how I consolidate my scent beads uh, for my laundry. Now, when you get a coupon or these go on sale, you can easily stack up on these or stock up on these and you can get about four or five at a time. And the bottle isn't not really that ugly, but at the same time, I would rather not have four of these on my shelves. So I just purchased a container from the Dollar Tree. And let me just show you how I consolidate with it. 
Here is my container from the Dollar Tree and it can easily hold about two or three of these inside. And so I just empty the whole container inside of here. And then this is pretty much, you know, the stockpile without the packaging. And what I'll do is I'll transfer it to the container that I have in my laundry room. So this particular container does have a little pull out top there and it has a little spout on it. And so I am able to pour it as I need it. I'm not really concerned that these are two different colors. The scent beads are just scent beads. So you can see the scent beads here have been transferred from the previous packaging from the manufacturer. This is the container that I keep in my laundry room with the little scoop here and so as I need it I just kind of scoop it out and put it in the load that I'm washing. Of course it's gotten low so it's time to fill up. I don't mind the colors mixing at all or the different scents mixing at all. It all serves the same purpose. So I just stuff my scoop down in there and now when I get ready to wash a load I just kind of scoop it out and sprinkle it into my laundry. And as you can see if I catch another sale or I get coupons on these scent beads I have room to fill it up all the way to the top. I do a similar concept with my dog food kibble. I put it in a container that I can pour from and it's more manageable than the bag. It's a lot less messy and it keeps the furry little critters out. The ones that like to chew through the bag and that's all I'm going to say about that. If you store your dog food kibble in a basement then you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say furry little creatures that like to chew through your bag. So this container holds almost all of the entire bag. This is a 3.5 pound bag and I'd rather have this slender container on the shelf and these are stackable so I can stack them if needed be and um, I'd rather have that on the shelf than the actual bags and then try to go in and out of the bags. Eventually the bag will tear and like I said it won't stay as fresh as long and then you know you can keep things out that shouldn't be in there. So here is another way that I consolidate my dryer sheets. I normally will just take them out of the packaging and then I will place them in this three drawer system here and they keep the scent on them just fine. Uh, the scent doesn't go away. I just really like to have my items grab and go. So I only have to open this box once or every time I need dryer sheets I just have to open the box once because they're all in here in each drawer. So this particular system holds three of these so there'd be no need for me to keep the packaging and I can take up less space on my shelf with just these and sometimes I can get um, a lot more than two I'm sorry a lot more than one box in there sometimes I can get two boxes just depending on the size of the box here's a way that I consolidate water I, I normally will take them out of the packaging this is a wire rack that I found on the side of the road perfectly good condition um, and I just use it to corrals my water um, there's no need to keep them in the plastic wrap and keep them stacked on the floor I just go ahead and pull them out I'm gonna insert another picture uh, to show you another idea that I do with these particular water bottles Another idea is to stack your bags of dog food rather than standing them upright on the shelves. If you stack them, it will allow you some more space. And as you can see here, 
I have stacked several bags of dog food almost up to the ceiling and if I ever find any more coupons or deals then I would just have to stack them accordingly. Here's a tiered shelf where I have taken the air wick out of the packaging and I can fit more on this shelf. I just love how that looks and I can just grab and go. I can go ahead and get to this particular um, bottle whenever one in the house is empty. Same thing with the light bulbs. I had a very huge package of light bulbs. I took them out of the package and I just have them in this little Dollar Tree plastic bin and they're grab and go. Whenever I need a light bulb, I can just come in here and grab one and I don't have to fumble around with the box. Same thing with my sponges here. They are grab and go. They've already been taken out of the plastic container. So when the one at my sink gets a little rough and it's time to throw it out, I can just come in here and grab another one and go. You can see my box of um, plastic gloves back there. I have two boxes back there. I haven't opened them yet. That's because I have the gloves here ready to go, grab and go. Uh, so that when my kitchen um, gets low on those gloves, I can just come in here and pull them out. Same thing with my trash bags. I've taken them off the roll and I have them just kind of folded. And I can just grab and go and put them in my kitchen whenever I need more bags. Have my Ziploc bags here out of the container. I have my snack bags and I have my... Um, storage size bags here and I'm going to show you how I store them in the kitchen. This is a tiered shelf on my wall in the kitchen. You can see there I have my quart size bags, my snack bags on one shelf, and my gallon size Ziploc bags up there. So whenever I run out I can just go in my storage room and get more and fill up the shelf. And I have it right next to my deep freezer. I have another tiered system here that I found at a yard sale. I have my aluminum foil in this section here. And these are just the foil sheets that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I don't have any crock pot liners, but I do have some parchment paper in here. And then my kitchen gloves are in this little container here. So when they run out, I just grab and go from my storage area. I want to thank you all so much for watching my video. Please remember to like comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on my next organization video.